Greetings and salutations, viewers. I'm Star Princess HLC, and welcome back to the Boogeyman. When we last left off, we barely managed to survive uh, another grueling attempt by the Boogeyman, and saved Shirley, oh, not uh, Shirley, I mean uh, Sophie and her father Richard. So now we have to find the rest of the group. Probably David and Shirley are going to be the next victims in our group. But either way, let's jump over the hole here. Pray we don't die. Oh, there we go. We're a wizard. And now we gotta go and continue onward. Is there anything in here that I need to worry about? Ooh. Painting a woman holding a severed head. There's a placard underneath. Ah, uh, Jokinen, I kissed your lips. They had such a bitter taste. Was it the taste of blood? No, it must be the taste of love. As everyone says, love is bitter. Huh. Well, love is blind, that's for sure. Seems to be a real guillotine. The edge is rusty, though. Am I gonna have to chop someone's head off? Probably the boogeyman's, but eh. Whatever. I hear zappy zap. That's not a good sound. Control panel, it's locked. There's a heart symbol on the cover. That's electrocuted, isn't it? I'm not going that way. You can just go to hell. What's this? Two buttons on the wall. So what's what? Let's see, we got a sledgehammer. And we got a saw. Hmm. Both are useful in their own rights, because sledgehammer obviously can do a lot of damage, but the saw could also double with some, like, if I have to cut something to pieces. I think I'm gonna go with the sledgehammer. Thank you. Okay, bye. By the way, what's over here? A locked iron door. Okay. So, can I smash this open? Breaking the door down with a hammer would destroy the control panel inside, too. Oh. So, probably not a good idea. Fair enough. In that case, let's see what else I can find. It's always awkward going upstairs like these, but nonetheless. That's where the family was. What's this way? Okay, that I can't go. So let me go past here. Where exactly am I in terms of this? Okay, this is where I am. In that case... No, I don't want to go downstairs just yet. I have to figure out where I have to go from here. Yeah, I know. Creepy face. Creepy face. So where do I go from here, exactly? Where the heck am I supposed to go? I don't even know. Hi. You're creepy. I'm just curious. Can I... Take what's inside with this. Something sharp inside the mouth so you can't get your hand all the way into the back. Sledgehammer? Sledgehammer. Ah, 
legs, a heart keychain. This must be what I need to open that control panel and play with the switchy switches. In that case, I'll head back over. This way, right? No, that was just a blank wall. Why did I think that there was a door there? I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just kind of going with the flow. I'm jumping over a pit. Ta-da! I jumped over the pit. And now I'm going down the stairs very awkwardly. So now I should be able to open this, correct? There we go! Pull the switch! I don't hear any more zappy zaps! So now... I guess I can cross this? Here we go! By the way, where are in any of these... An old videotape player. And an old television set, so I'm gonna have to watch something. Hey, I got a rope! Great! What am I gonna do with this rope? Am I gonna lasso something? Whoa, what happened here? I shall grant your greedy wish. If you want to have two, then... What does that mean? What does any of this mean? I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. I'm not sure I want to go in that other place yet. Yeah, just curious. Ah, there's something down here. Let's go down the hole. Detective, go down the hole. It's dark in here. Oh, what's this? A videotape. Huh. This place has a lot of spikes. Well, the place was originally used for torturing people, so... But I got a videotape. This should help me out in some fashion, right? What do I get out of using this videotape? Are we going to see more from Helena? Let's do this. See what we got. Yep, Helena's still running around freaking out. She's not very good at hiding, I might add. Here's Boogie! I thought he was going to wave at us again. And how is it he's able to just beat her up slightly and then let her run off like that? You think he'd try to kill her? Well, I guess he is playing with us, so maybe he's playing with her, too. That's nice. That's nice. Just very nice. Yeah. That's probably going to be important of some kind, but I don't know what yet. So, let's head up. Now, where am I? Ooh, that's pretty. David! David, get up. Keith? Oh, oh. What, where is this? Shirley? Keith, Shirley, where's Shirley? I wish I knew, buddy. Settle down and answer me first. What are you doing here? What happened? Uh, I think... Was the crooked man after you again? Shirley? Why did the boogeyman then only take Shirley and not David? Or maybe she got out already and she's just missing. She sure is looking for time. Where the heck is she? Shirley? Oh, what happened? Shirley, wh what happened? 
Hang in there. Oh, uh, behind you. Uh. I don't remember anything after that. Obviously, you were unconscious. Something was smashed across your face. <laughs> All right. Brendan and Stevie are both. Yep. You're kidding, right? Uh uh. You don't want to see the bodies, trust me. It ain't purdy. I don't make jokes in such poor taste. Lance and the Grundlers are hiding out in the safe room. I thought you'd have been kidnapped too, but guess not. Well, he must have if he's out here. So surely he was gone because. He must have taken her. I'm trying to bait you all bit. Wonder what he's plotting. Well, obviously, he's having a fun time torturing people and killing them. We have to hurry. I'll take you to the others. Stay put with them. No way. I have to go find her. She's my wife. I have to. Hey, it's okay. Listen we'll find her. You'll only get in the way. I'm going, no matter what. Agreed. Did you not see the crap he dealt with back in the, the, the Crooked Man? He's dealt with worse, trust me. Okay, so I got David with me. That's something. Although he's lost his jacket. That's kind of sad. But I still don't really know what I'm doing. Just saying. Wait a minute. Hang on a second. I think I might have an idea. Remember back in the panel area where Richard and Sophie were? I saw that thing that said to save two, and it had a bunch of little circles all over it? Maybe this is the hint. So I'm gonna write this down. Where did I put my pencil? There it is. So it looks like, if we're going by this, it'll be three, then two, Then the fifth one, and then the first one. I think it's. I mean, that would be four instead. Four and then five. All right, let me try that. That might be of some kind of hint to me. Because again, it said specifically to save two. I thought maybe it might have to do with Sophie and Richard, but. Considering what I just managed to pull, it might not be. Too dangerous to go across with David. Oh. Well, poop. I'm gonna have to go another way then. How am I gonna do that? Let's see, is there another way around this direction? He's a master. Why couldn't you? You could have told the duck or something. Eh. Uh, your fault for coming along. This is exactly why I told you to stay put. Okay. Hang on, let me just save really quick. I have a feeling this could end up messy. Well, that one I couldn't dodge. <laughs> well, I could if I was, like, a Super Saiyan, but other than that, nope. I mean, come on, do I look like a Super Saiyan to you? Oh. Don't step on the red tiles. I don't think I stepped on a red tile there, but okay. I'll take your word for it. Silly game. I'm fairly certain I didn't step on a red tile there. But all right. They're tricking me here, because there wasn't a red tile there. All right, let's try this again. Oh, maybe because it's elevated like that? Aha! 
That's the key. Ha! In your face. Now, where am I? Iron door locked. And that's just an empty hallway. Oh, no. Looks like I've been cornered by Mr. Detective. What? Back to the wall. Nowhere to run. It's like the end of a chase scene. Straight from a movie. There wasn't anything there. Now let's see. You'd be Brad Pitt and Morgan Freeman. So I'm John Doe? Hmm? What? Where'd you take Shirley? Yeah. Hey, are you the guy that kidnapped Shirley? Where is she? Take it easy, David. Ah, so nice to see you, David. Can't help worrying about your wife, I see. Worry not, you'll meet her very soon. Sooner than you think. So then, here I have a box. Surprise, a gift from me to you. I'd like David to open it, if possible. I'm sure he'll be stunned. That box is rather red. Well, anyway, you two, take your time and enjoy the present. Um... Blood drips from the box, it has a raw odor. Okay, let's open the box. Wait. Don't. If you open that, d don't open it, please. Stop. Don't worry, she's not your bitch. Nice. Thought so. God damn it. Who does that asshole think he is? Obviously this guy has some serious issues. Calm down. Don't let him rile you up. Too late. Come to think of it, Keith. Helena's okay, isn't she? We don't know yet. I haven't found her yet. What? Uh, I was sure that... I mean, you seemed so... Yeah, well, he's gotta keep his cool, you know. Seemed to what? We have to find them. Quick. Shirley and Helena both. Mm hmm. Wonder if that was of any importance in the future. I don't know. That was weird. Wasn't expecting that turn of events. But very well, then. What's this? Boards are nailed to the door. Now oh, where the heck am I? Jeez, this place is huge! And another locked iron door. Ah, dang it. Well then, where do I go from here? Because I can't go through this door. There's a dead end over there. And this just leads to this little trap room here. So where do I go? What do I do? I'm not sure yet. <laughs> 